Hello viewers, for DIYers here, back in a tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to check the freezing and boiling temperature of your vehicle's coolant. Now what you'll need for this is just a simple antifreeze tester here, and basically what this tells is your ratio between the glycol and water content. So these are fairly inexpensive to buy, and you can normally pick these up at your local auto parts supplier. Now what we have here is we'll have basically just an area where the coolant will go into. What we have the, here is a little ball, basically just a suction ball. We'll press it in, then stick the tube into the tank, and then once we let it out, it'll suck up all the fluid in the inside here. And we have this hose on here. Normally, they do come with a shorter hose. Now, for this specific application here, considering the coolant tank on my vehicle, what the level is, it's quite low in there, uh, just the way the specifications go. Now, it does take quite a ways to go in there, and the normal hose that was on here wasn't able to reach that level. Now, you can see here, on the one side here, we'll have a little meter on it which says what the freezing point is and on the opposite side we'll have also another meter on it which says what the boiling point is so basically how we use this we'll have to hold it on the upright position what we want to do here once we suck in that fluid you'll have a level line right at the top here and you want to be around that level line there and then you'll have another little weight that goes around the inside here you can see that little red arrow in there and that'll determine what the fluid is at that scale on both the freezing portion and the boiling portion. When doing this test I normally recommend doing it when the vehicle is cooler. That just reduces the risk of burning yourself. Next you also want to make sure if you have recently added either glycol or extra water to the system you want to make sure the system has ran for a period of time at full operating temperature to ensure that the water or glycol isn't more prominent in the tank here and then has mixed thoroughly throughout the system instead. That ensures we, we do have an accurate reading. So next, just doing the test here, I'll show you how it works. You want to make sure that hose is in there so we do get the sufficient amount of fluid. Now you can see we are a little overflow here, so we want to do have an air pocket. So what we'll just do here is, here we go. So you can see there, now the reading, you want to hold it level here. You can see we do have a needle at the top side here, which ensures we are holding it level. We'll just give it a nice tap here just to ensure that there is no air bubbles in the inside as well just to make sure that everything is accurate and when we look at the reading here I am good here for freezing below negative 35 Fahrenheit or negative 37 Celsius moving around the back side here just trying to show you here so the hose doesn't get tangled up we look on this side here, our boiling point here is good for 265 degrees Fahrenheit or 129 degrees Celsius. And once you've done with that, you just want to pull the hose up a little extra just above the level there and we'll make sure all the coolant does go back in there. And we are done. Now if you are wanting to achieve a higher mark on the scale here, normally what the optimum performance rating would be with a glycol and water mix is a 50-50 ratio so there is an equal mix in both water and glycol. Now if you find you are a little lower on the scale you can go ahead and add more glycol to the system therefore that will raise the needle up in both boiling point and in freezing point. Now if you do find you're adding too much glycol to the system which is going to be more than water what will happen then is it will actually lower the boiling point of the system therefore you'll have issues with the vehicle overheating. So this concludes the rest of my tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Also, please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for watching.